Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to The Young and the Restless teasers for Wednesday, January 31, Kyle Abbott has arrived early at the office where Jack Abbott and Diane Jenkins Abbott will be heading. Diane may appear a little irritated since Kyle will have completed some work that she had intended to accomplish this morning. Jack will tell Kyle that he doesn't need to prove himself by going above and beyond, but Kyle will pretend that he needs to make up for a lot of his previous transgressions. Diane will confide in Jack that she is worried about Kyle quietly informing her that he can perform her duties more effectively than she can, but Jack will assume that Diane is interpreting too much into his actions. Diane will be concerned, though, that Kyle may not be quite comfortable serving as co-CEO. Diane will call Kyle out when he attempts to complete a task before she can, questioning whether he's subtly attempting to tell her that she can perform her job more effectively. If Kyle has upset Diane, he will say he just intended to be of assistance and will apologize. Diane will be concerned that she has offended Kyle, but he will reassure her of the value of being honest and give her a hub for cooperating. Still, after Diane leaves, Kyle will appear thoughtful and will finally inquire as to whether Jack went too far. Jack will believe that Diane's anxieties play a larger part, but he will push Kyle to allow Diane to grow into the co-CEO position on her own. Nikki Newman will speak with Audra Charles one more after she stops by to let her know that she has cleaned out her office. They will both conclude that nothing has changed and Audra must resign because she won't accept the London job and Nikki won't allow her to continue as her CEO. Nikki will call Jack in a hurry as soon as Audra leaves because she needs a replacement for Audra right away. While he makes the necessary preparations, which will take some time, Jack will give Nikki some advice on how to manage everything at Newman Media. Victor Newman will then notify Nick and Victoria Newman on the fire at Jordan's prison, making Victoria anxious about not knowing if Jordan died or managed to escape. Victor will make it plain that they must presume Jordan's freedom and remain vigilant until they learn more. Victoria would be appreciative that Victor already deployed more security to Memorial's psych ward in order to look after Claire Grace. Victor will acknowledge that he hasn't told Nikki about the file yet, but Nick and Victoria will still be understanding since they know that the possibility of Jordan fleeing may drive Nikki over the brink. Nick will, however, draw attention to the fact that they cannot conceal the information forever. Victor will also say that Audra was dismissed by Nikki after it was discovered that she was an alcoholic, which would prompt Victoria to decide to visit and see how her mother is doing. Nikki will tell Victoria to put Claire first and play down any worries, even though Victoria will volunteer to take over as COO in the interim until Audra's replacement is found. Nikki will become frightened later when she comes across a report about the fire at Jordan's detention facility on her iPad. Nikki will get even more frightened when she learns that Jordan might be out there and pursuing her. Victor will think that Nick needs to make time for his personal life now that he's back with him, but Nick will tell him that he doesn't need to. Nick will advise Victor to ease up on their connection with Sally Spectra and Adam Newman. If they want Adam to stay in line, that may be the wisest course of action. Victoria will inform Cole Howard, J. Eddie Peck, at Crimson Lights about Jordan's possible jailbreak, but they will both agree to hold off on telling Claire until they have all the information. On Wednesday's Y and R episode, Cole and Victoria will finally have a tender moment where they hold hands. Tucker McCall will question Nate Hastings at Society about whether or not he is currently seeing Audra, but Nate will say that Tucker shouldn't be concerned about it. Tucker will assert that he is aware of Audra's intentions and warn Nate that if he chooses to go along, he won't be able to defeat him either. Nevertheless, Tucker will soon make hints that perhaps Nate ought to join the Glissade team, but Nate will decline and behave as though Audra has permanently distanced herself from Tucker. Tucker will pretend that Nate is considering joining them when Audra appears, and Audra will inquire as to whether that is the case.
Nate will verify that it isn't prior to Audra accompanying Tucker outdoors. Tucker will give up once Audra presses him to acknowledge that she's back in, primarily because he needs to figure out what she's planning. He'll continue to have doubts about Audra's intentions, even though she'll act like she merely wants to elevate Glissade. Once inside, Nate will caution Audra against becoming entangled with Tucker once more, since it could lead to a significant downfall. Nate will seem underappreciated by Audra, who will then ask him to please step aside while she accomplishes her objective. Keep an eye out for spoilers on the young and the restless, as Audra may be getting ready for big disaster. Spoilers for the young and the restless suggest that Jack Abbott might be in trouble as a result of his difficult circumstances as Nikki Newman's sponsor. Could Jack experience personal difficulties and go over the edge? Nikki already holds herself responsible for Seth's slip from the wagon. Nikki wants to rely on Jack because he used to be addicted to painkillers. Nikki needs Jack now more than ever since he knows what it's like to be addicted and struggle through the rehabilitation process. Even while Jack now appears to be a reliable source of stability, if Victor Newman learns the truth, his stress level can rise dramatically. When Victor learns that his old enemy has been surreptitiously supporting Nikki, his already low level of trust in Jack will only grow. Fans of Young and the Restless are aware that Tucker McCall is a frequent cause of conflict for the Abbott family, so it's possible that he'll cause more problems for Jack in addition to his current ones. Jack may be tempted to grab for some drugs when things get too much for him to handle, especially because he has been thinking about his previous addiction lately. This is especially true if Jack becomes entangled in the mayhem surrounding the Jordan escape. It's not difficult to picture some sort of incident that results in Jack being hurt. That would be the ideal scenario for him to develop a relapse into painkiller addiction. Is Jack about to have a relapse that will have an erratic effect on his behavior? Jack could lose his mind and start seeing other women, including Diane Jenkins Abbott, Susan Walters, or do anything that puts Jabot in danger. In any event, Jack is not unbeatable and may be as prone to a relapse as Seif or anyone else. If this plot develops in that direction, Nikki might start to blame herself for Jack's recent difficulties, which would only increase her own temptation. If Nikki is intoxicated and Jack resumes taking medications, it can even result in them acting erratically and going to bed together. If Jack's support for Nikki turns out to be disastrous, according to spoilers for the young and the restless, unpleasant news might be on the horizon. Stay in for updates on this challenging journey. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.